Thank you for watching. Um, this video is going to be about how to get your old loops from your, an old Mac computer into your new Mac computer without relying on Time Machine. That was the situation that I found myself in when I shifted from a 2009 iMac over to a 2015 uh, MacBook Pro. I have Jam Pack 4, Symphony Jam Pack 4. Um, it was made when back way in the day, 2008 or so. Um, where you actually had the ability to support Motorola or Intel processors. Now uh, Mac only supports Intel and the operating system, El, uh, El Capitan, only supports the Intel as well. So the installation, although it works, you can't see some of the readme files and you might get nervous or what have you, there's an easier way to do it. Especially if you got like a MacBook Pro and you don't even have a CD-ROM or a DVD, uh, you have to get an external if you don't have that. How do I get those from my time machine without actually using the time machine applicant? Um, let me just show you real fast. The first thing you're going to need to do is have your time machine disk and plug it up. Usually it's an external or however you have it fashioned, you should be able to see it. So we're going to try that real fast. There we go. So when the time machine uh, disk pops up, one of the things you'll need to know, um, now if you're using a really, really old version of GarageBand, uh, that's something, there's going to be some directory changes. If you look on uh, Apple site, you can find those. But for those that uh, are relatively recently like Snow Leopard or uh, just the, the version prior to that. If you have that installation, I'm going to show you the, the locations for it. So this is a time machine backup. My old computer is named Gorilla. New one is named Rocket, uh, courtesy of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So what you do is you can, if you want to make sure you have the latest or you know a specific date, um, you can just go into the folder in question. The place you're going to run into, and then the, again, what we're looking for right now is the actual uh, CAF files or AAF files that are used for the loops. So the place you're going to need to go is just find the old uh, time machine, go into one of the dated folders, and it looks just like your normal uh, directory structure. So you will go to the hard drive. Mine happened to be named the traditional Macintosh HD. You'll go to the library directory underneath that, then audio, and then from there you'll go to Apple Loops, and you'll probably will see a bunch of stuff. I actually downloaded stuff from Mac Loops some time ago. Um, so uh, I've already restored those. Um, then the other thing that you're going to be looking for is um, the actual uh, loops in question. So if you have more than this and you don't have them on your current uh, system, let's just show you. So there's my time machine there. And here is my current system. We'll go into the same folder, Apple Loops. Notice that the new GarageBand has quite a bit different stuff. These I noticed immediately. Um, some of these others um, may or may not be a part of it. So I don't see, as you see here, I don't see Jam Pack 4 Symphony Orchestra. All these others with perhaps, I think I like sound effects that uh, gets installed when you start iMovie. So if you don't see that, start iMovie first. And if you don't see the stuff you'd like to see, go ahead and you can copy them over in the same fashion I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to take this. Now I could, if I wanted to, just grab this folder and copy the desktop and then there, but there's no point. So we're just going to go ahead and copy it into Apple Loops Apple. Now it's about three gigabytes, so it's going to take a minute. I'm going to speed this up in the editing. So we're going to start it. I want to choose Empty Project. Then I'm going to go to, I'm going to choose, a, well, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to choose voice. And then we'll go to the loop browser. And you notice that we do not see Jam Pack 4 Symphony here. So I'm going to leave that open because we don't actually have to um, have it up and running. Or excuse me, close when we do this process. So if this finishes, we'll go through that process. All right, 
So now it's finished. So this is my current hard drive. And this is the time machine. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And we're going to go ahead and just eject it so we don't have to worry about it any longer. And while that's safely ejecting, now that I have Jam Pack 4 Symphony, so there they are, all three gigs. So if I open up the system, there it is, 3.89 gig, all 22,203 files. So now let's open GarageBand. Just simply choose Re-Index Loops. And when you do the Re-Index Loops, that's actually going to go out and scan that folder and then create a new index. And what we should see when we click on this drop down is Jam Pack 4 Symphony, Symphony Orchestra. Now we see every all 2303 uh, loops that exist in Jam Pack 4. And you can do this with anything. Um, if you um, have uh, you know other things that you've like you purchased loops or what have you, you can do the same process. Um, just make sure that you go into the loop and actually choose Randex loops and you'll see everything that you need to see. So that's it. Uh, if you're interested in the next video, what I intend on doing is actually showing how to get MP3s into your GarageBand. Not that I'm a GarageBand you know, super user, but I, I use it a little bit and I, I like to play with it. But uh, that was one of the things. I've got like 500 or more uh, sound effects because my wife's an actress uh, and we do some play stuff. I have to create uh, sounds for her shows and that's purchasing stuff off Amazon. But I like using GarageBand as well. I haven't purchased you know, Logic or anything of that sort um, because it fits the job. But I want to use those, those sound effects without having to use it as a drop-in. If you're interested in that, you can stay tuned for the next video that I release. So thank you very much. You have a great day. And like us and share if you will. I appreciate it. You have a good day.